The topic for today's episode of Engineering Career TV is going from engineer to manager. This topic was brought about by a question from Zach who says, I've been working as a structural engineer for the past three years in Massachusetts. I'm currently going for my master's degree in structural engineering, which my company is paying for, and I plan on taking the structural engineer's exam sometime next year. Like many engineers my age, I aspire to be a manager someday. However, I'm not sure what it takes to be a manager besides having strong leadership skills. Do you need to have a knowledge of finance, business, and marketing? Are there any good books you recommend that provide insight to taking on a managerial role? All right, Zach, great question. And the answer to your question is yes, yes, and yes. You definitely need to have a good understanding of finance, business, and marketing if you're going to become a successful engineering manager. The question is, how do you really learn about these things? I could give you a couple of books, but it goes way beyond just reading books. One of the things that you'll need to focus on is business development, which is essentially bringing in new business to your engineering company. Business development is probably one of the most important skill sets for going from engineer to manager successfully. Most engineering CEOs are looking for engineers that can do the work, but then sell the work. We've referred to them as seller doers through our previous podcast episodes. What you could do is go to engineeringcareercoach.com and click on the start here button and click the business development category. You'll be able to get a lot of help on that topic there. We also did a seller doer series on the civil engineering podcast recently. But just to give you some more thought here in this episode, what I would do is first of all, from the management side of things, I recommend a great book called The One Minute Manager. What the book helped me to do was delegate because quite frankly, Zach, one of the biggest challenges of engineers progressing is the letting go of the technical tasks. You can't learn about the business side of engineering unless you have time to, which means you're going to have to get comfortable in letting go and becoming a more productive manager. I also recommend the 80-20 principle books by Richard Koch and I'm going to review them in an upcoming episode because those will also help you to be more productive as a manager. Again, you need to find more time to dedicate to these other things. That's going to be your biggest challenge. Now, the other thing that you might consider And I don't always like recommending people to get an additional degree because I don't necessarily always think that degrees are the answer and they're costly and they're time consuming. But there are some great masters of engineering management degrees out there. Maybe you can consider one or maybe even find a less time consuming certificate program. And the reason I recommend that is because they apply specifically to the business and finance side of engineering projects and the engineering industry overall. Obviously, an MBA could be helpful too, but that's a bigger time and money investment. Whereas you might be able to find some masters of engineering management programs that would simply allow you to even audit a few courses that could really help you become more savvy with the finance and business side of things. All right. So just to recap, you need to learn about business development and marketing, which are two different things, but there is some intertwine between them. We will link to some of our resources on these topics below this video. I recommend the One Minute Manager book, as well as the 80-20 Principle books by Richard Koch. And lastly, look for courses online that relate to business for engineers, like Masters of Engineering Management programs. We've had some good ones sponsor our episodes in the past, and we'll link to a few of them in the show notes for this show as well. I hope you found this episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. This show is for you, and I want you to take advantage of it. You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.com. 
If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I recommend you join the Engineering Mastermind, an online support community that we have created for engineers at theengineeringmastermind.com. For the price, you can't get more specific, targeted engineering career advice and assistance. The Engineering Mastermind is not about helping you survive as an engineer. It's about helping you thrive. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineer Your Own Success. Please subscribe to the show on YouTube or iTunes, and I'll see you next week.